remember, Herman. We have to find out why Marilyn hasn't mentioned parents' night at school. But we have to be very subtle about it. Be very subtle. I see. How do we do that? <laughs> well, we lead up to it gradually. First, I'll bring up the subject of cars. Cars? That'll lead to driving. Driving? And then I'll bring up the subject of driving to school. Driving to school, of course. <laughs> and that'll lead up to parents', parents night. night. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Oh, my. Everything looks so delicious, Lily. Oh, thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> uh, Marilyn, how do you feel about the new cars? New cars? Well, I think that the... And how come you didn't ask us to parents' night at school? <laughs> parents' night? Well, where did you hear about that? Well, well, dear, I was dusting your room, and I just happened to come across the invitation. It's, uh, next Saturday night, isn't it? Hey, yes, Marilyn. <laughs> now, don't try to hide anything. You know, in this family, nothing ever stays buried. <laughs> the reason I didn't mention it was because, well, because of you, Uncle Herman. Me? Why wouldn't you want me, of all people, to go to parents' night? Oh, I just didn't think you'd care for it. It's going to be sort of a dinner dance. Oh. Dancing. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Dancing has never been one of my strong points. I guess you could say I have two left feet. Well, that's what happens when they put someone together in the dark. Herman. I think we should go. I mean, at your age, it's high time you took up dancing. Lily, you know I hate dancing. I've always hated to dance. I'm not going through with it. I am not going down there at the risk of making a fool out of myself. I am not going dancing. <laughs> One, two, three. One. Herman, Herman, relax. You're so stiff. Yeah, Herman, let everything go. Well, I'll, I'll try. But the last time I let everything go, some of it didn't come back. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. <laughs> One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three. I think I'm getting the knack of it. <laughs> Know something, Lily? I just got a new respect for Lawrence Welk. <laughs> Marilyn, Eddie, what happened? Come and help your Uncle Herman. Careful. <laughs> Listen, Lily, they're playing our song. That Herman wants to dance, I'll mix him something that'll make him dance. <laughs> now, let me see. Ah, yes, now I know. <laughs> A little potassium. <laughs> A pinch of chlorophyll. <laughs> Two fingers of geritol. <laughs> A dash of bitters. <laughs> And now, for the secret ingredient. <laughs> A pair of Fred Astaire's dancing shoes. <laughs> go, Fred, go. Grandpa? Grandpa, are you making lasagna again? You're smelling up the whole house. <laughs> 
No, as a matter of fact, I'm whipping up a batch of my secret dancing potion. This will make you a wonderful dancer. No, sir, I'm not drinking anything you mix up. <laughs> okay. Go to the parents' night dance. Disgrace poor Marilyn. Make a fool of yourself. I'm not going to disgrace anybody. Listen to this. I found an ad in the newspaper, and they're going to make me an accomplished ballroom dancer in three easy lessons. <laughs> Listen. Happy Land Ballroom, Foxtrot, Tango, Samba, Watusi, all the latest steps. Gain poise, popularity, make friends, free trial lesson, private and group rates. Herman, um, listen, there are plenty of good dancing schools, but you got to watch out for the shysters. Shysters? Uh, look what it says. Let us bring out the inner you at our low monthly rates. <laughs> and it's signed, Happy Havemeyer. Doctor of Terpsichore. <laughs> That's what you want to do? That's exactly what I want to do, and I'm going to go down there and sign up first thing in the morning. <laughs> All right, fine. Yes, that'll be okay. Bye-bye. Miss Valentine, if you would. Miss Valentine, since you're a new instructor here at Happy Land, I'd like to acquaint you with our policy. Most of our clients are older people, misfits, widowers, people searching for friendship. Some are rather bewildered, and they come to us looking for guidance. We have a definite approach to these folks. What's that, doctor? We take them for all they've got. <laughs> Uncle Herman left early, didn't he? Yes, the sweet thing went downtown to take dancing lessons. <laughs> He's so anxious to make a good impression at the parents' night dance. Well, I'm surprised that he never learned to dance when he was younger. Well, when other young men were going to parties and dances, I'm afraid he was always tied up in the laboratory. <laughs> you know, they have women teachers down at those dancing schools. I just hope one of them doesn't fall in love with your Uncle Herman's gentle charms. <laughs> Dr. Hammermeyer! Dr. Hammermeyer! Calm down, Miss Valentine. What happened? Oh, well, I, I, I know you said there'd be a lot of weirdos and misfits around here, but you should have seen what just walked in and wanted to take dancing lessons. Oh, you got to see him. Now, now, there's no need for me to see him. Didn't I tell you to expect all kinds? Now, you go back in there, turn on the charm, flatter him, tell him how great a dancer he is. And then when you got him hooked, get him to sign our 10-year contract. <laughs> Well, uh, I'll try, but uh, times like this, I wish I'd stayed with the roller derby. <laughs> oh, uh, there you are, miss. Uh, was there some emergency? You left here so fast, I thought the place was on fire. Uh, <laughs> such luck. <laughs> Shall we start? All righty. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> now, the first thing you have to do is put your arm around me. Oh. Uh... I saw Robin Montgomery do that once. <laughs> Ready? Ready. And one and one and two and one and two and three and four. Now one and two. Have you ever danced professionally? Professionally? Heavens no. I would have never known. Really? Oh. <laughs> 